homemakers welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be packed with some extreme cleaning motivation and lifestyle inspiration I'm going to be tidying up my house but then focusing on my kitchen giving it a good deep clean and then doing some major organizing focusing on my fridge which is awful right now my goal for January 2020 is to organize my life going through every room in my house just purging and then organizing the essentials that I absolutely need to keep and I haven't even started yet it's January 22nd so if I I'm going to be doing that I really need to get on the ball and get going if you this is your first time here welcome I would love to have you guys subscribe and for those of you who have been following me I just wanted to say thank you so much for checking on me and seeing how I've been doing if you don't know I've had a really rough last couple of months I've been going through some health issues both mentally and physically I've just had a really tough time getting out of bed in the morning getting myself motivated to be productive it's really just been such a hard season and I am doing so so much better I have been making some huge lifestyle changes which I am so excited to share with you guys because I am sure I'm not the only one to have gone through something like this I've been making some major changes to my diet and I've established a workout routine which is a huge deal for me because I do not work out I do not go to the gym but thanks to 30 day fitness I have found a plan that works for me and my lifestyle and I'm really excited to share that with you guys later on in this video as well so my goal for this video is to give my kitchen a complete organization makeover and give you guys tons of cleaning motivation as well as some lifestyle inspiration for the year 2020 so I recently got this basket from Target for above the toilet it's really hard to find something that narrow but I found this it's hearth in hand and I absolutely love it I think it's so pretty but also because I have a really small bathroom it makes it functional as well here but not all of it is ironing I probably won't get around to the ironing today but I do need to sort through it and put what does not belong away Once again feeling really clean and peaceful and I'm ready to move on to the rest of the house but before I do I thought it was a good time to sit down and just chat to you guys about the lifestyle changes I've been making lately because I cannot tell you how much better I feel and it all started with very simple changes to get me out of that rut as simple as taking a vitamin D supplement um, and it's all kind of just escalated to me being very inspired to have a healthy lifestyle ready to just start a workout routine I have this little notebook here where I've been writing down anything that sparks inspiration throughout the day um, just little ideas of meals to cook for my family, healthy snack ideas um, things that I want to incorporate into my morning routine or my workout routine and obviously I want to share these things with you guys throughout my videos and the most recent thing is something that could not have been better time 30 day fitness approached me about doing a video with them so this video is in partnership with them it is 
so perfect for me and where I am and what I need in my life right now. I've been getting up at 6 a.m. and going on quick jogs with Daniel and then I come home and I try to do some sort of workout routine here in my bedroom and I was feeling kind of lost and I didn't have any guidance like how many days should I be doing this and how many repetitions should I be doing of this. So basically what it is is an app and you guys get one week free and then after that it is $4.99 a week. I personally do not have the luxury of going to a gym. I am with my kids from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep so the fact that this is something I can do in my own home whenever I have free time is amazing for me and the thing that I love about it most is that it is guided workouts and I get that instruction that I need so when you set up your profile you enter your information but also what kind of a goal you have do you want to get more muscle do you want to lose weight or do you just want to be more active very beginning they have you gauge where you are as far as how fit you are and then every workout is tailored to you and to what you can handle you can pick the frequency of your workouts I'm just doing it three to four days and you can pick the length of your workouts so mine are always right around 15 minutes which is completely doable to me as a mom so now that I've set up my app I will get notifications on days where I'm supposed to be doing a workout and the thing that I honestly love about this is that it's so convenient I can do it when my kids are napping I can do it in the morning before they've woken up any spare second my workout is right here on my phone when you click on the workout you can go through all of the moves that you're gonna be doing and watch someone do them and read some instructions so that you can make sure you're doing it correctly and once you start your workup it goes automatically until you're completed with timers and verbal commands which which makes it feel like you have that trainer's instruction right beside you that you need. So once I start the workout, I'm good to go. I don't have to fiddle with my phone anymore. It just tells me what I need to do next. And I am so excited to be using this because I probably will never be a girl who works out in a gym. That is just not my style, but I still do want to be active and in shape. So if you guys want to join my health kick and start working out with me, I will have the link to this app down below. Again, it's called 30 Day Fitness and you can find it on the app store by using my coupon down below to get your first week free. So in addition, to doing my workouts on that app and I feel like what has brought me to the place where I feel like I can is changing my diet. I've been making green smoothies but I really like juices better because they don't melt throughout the day and I want to get a juicer but for now I've been using my Vitamix and then straining the juice and pouring it into this empty kombucha bottle which has been working but it's kind of a hassle so I am researching some different juicers. I've, I've heard that Breville is really good. If you guys have a juicer and you like it let me know what it is down in the comments below. Inside of my green juice today I have some mango and apple for the sweetness, some kale, ginger, and then half Half of a lemon and it actually tastes good I think I'm getting used to it and then the sweetness of the apple and mango just make it actually yummy to me but anyways I'm just so relieved and happy that I am out of the rut that I was in and I hope that if any of you are in the same place that I was that this video will help inspire you and let you know that you can make those small changes I'll be talking more about this in future videos and sharing more of all of these ideas um, but for now we need to go in and get some of the cleaning done So I have this huge pile of laundry here, which I'm going to leave for now because if I do it now, I probably won't get around to the kitchen, which I won't be able to do when the kids wake up. So if I have time tonight, I'll probably do it, but it's just going to have to sit here a little while longer. So the rest of the house is essentially clean. I'm ready to start on the kitchen, which is pretty much clean behind me. There are just a few dishes, but I'm really excited to get in and do the deep cleaning and organizing. I've been waiting for so long to do this. I am drinking some kombucha to keep me going. This is the GTS um, Trilogy Kombucha. I've been drinking this lately anytime I feel like I'm getting tired. I'm just needing that extra boost of energy, but it also helps your gut as well. So this is the organization stuff that I got. These are from Container Store, which are so expensive. I looked at Target and they just do not have anything that is this length and depth, which is what, which is what I was looking for. But I did find this basket for a really good price and I'll show you what it's for in a little bit. So as you see, my fridge is chaos. I have been wanting to organize it for months 
it just hasn't happened but that is okay because today we are gonna do it um, I like to keep my meat separate and even though this pan is empty right now usually I do have some meats on it I like to keep them separate from the other foods but this isn't the best use of the space I've seen at the container store um, this size of a little bit deeper plastic bins with lids which I'm planning to get one of those because then you can pile stuff on top and you're not actually losing this much space so I don't have that today but I am planning to do that with the fridge I'm just going to use the Method all-purpose cleaner and some paper towel. part I've been waiting for is the organization after everything is clean there are some things I have to wipe down as I'm putting them in so I don't get the fridge dirty again but most of the stuff was pretty clean and it's looking so great so I'm gonna put in everything that I can and then I'm going to put the bins in with the rest of the stuff
So the reason I got these bins from Container Store were because they are really long and nice and deep. They're exactly the size I need to fit up here. And I wanted something like this to be organized, but also with the trade sites. It's always very difficult to get the stuff that is pushed back, like, you know, food storage, like leftovers and stuff. It's really difficult to like maneuver around everything that's up front. So I thought this way we could pull the drawers out and just grab the stuff and be able to put the drawer in without <laughs> without having to empty the top shelf to get something in the back. So that was just my thought process behind them and I'm excited to see if they work out. I like to store my almonds in the fridge so that they last longer, but this does not look very good. So I'm gonna just pour them into this glass jar instead. Here's another little storage bin I got from the container store. I thought this one would be great for cheese sticks and yogurts and tubes um, to just clear up a little bit more space. switch over to all glass Tupperwares, but I think that having all matching is gonna help it look more organized and neat inside the fridge. I just have some eggs here, which I meal prepped uh, for snacks, leftover pancakes from breakfast, and then also a lunch that I meal prepped for my husband. The last bin I got from the container store, I'm just gonna put on the top shelf, holding like the little bagged items and odds and ends. And the fridge is done. I cannot believe how good it looks. I'm hoping to keep it this way. And I think the containers that I got are gonna help a lot. I am especially loving how this top shelf looks. It's so good. The next trouble area in my kitchen is this little nook here. It just becomes this place where we put all of our recycling, which does not look organized and neat. So since that's where we naturally gather all the recycling anyways, I just decided to grab a bin that would help it stay under control and look a lot nicer. And I did want to get a basket to look more natural and not have plastic as much in my kitchen but it just made sense to have plastic since sometimes water gets in this area and the garbage like, you know, messes happen. I didn't want to get a basket that might get ruined. And this is something that's definitely washable. So the last area of the kitchen I want to organize is this corner right here. I just feel like I'm losing tons of space and I don't have a very big of a pantry. So I'm going to set up some shelves here. I'm just waiting for Daniel to come home to do all the hardware and stuff for me. But basically I just asked my mom who makes signs to stain these two pieces of wood for me with this stain. And then I just brought the hardware off of Amazon for like six or nine dollars. I can't remember. But it was such an inexpensive way to get exactly the length of shelf I need. And these are really deep pieces of wood so I think they're going to be perfect there and I cannot wait to get them up. So now I'm just going to be cooking dinner while I'm waiting for Daniel to get home and tonight we're having white chicken chili which I'm making the recipe from that a friend recommended. I love the instant pot and I've just been utilizing it so much more so I'm just going to chop up these veggies here, dump these things into the pot, some frozen chicken and it's going to be done.
just finished putting up the shelf and it looks so nice. It freed up some of our pantry space, but also um, I put my two favorite recipe books, well, two of my favorite recipe books out, our goblets. I'll probably turn them upside down so they don't collect like, dust and then some ramekins. And I just really love how it turned out. And it sounds like dinner's done. So now all that's left to do of the chili is shred the chicken breasts and then put them back in the pot along with some sour cream and it's gonna be done. It's really simple. So the white chicken chili is done. It smells really good. I would have used Greek yogurt if I had it, um, but it does call for sour cream, and we are gonna go and eat this now. The thing I really love about using the Instant Pot is that usually it's very minimal dishes, which is always so nice. So there's the white chicken chili. This one is great because it has loads of veggies and it's still really tasty. So I had to make sure that as I close the video, you guys can see my very nice shelves back here. So we're just gonna go eat dinner now. I hope you guys got a ton of cleaning motivation and lifestyle inspiration from watching this video. If you liked it and wanna see more with kind of a little bit of everything in it, let me know in the comments down below, as well as giving this video a big like because that helps my whole channel out so much more and I really appreciate it when you guys do. Hope you're all having a wonderful evening and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.